Hello friends, today we see on the topic Applied Thermodynamics subject name and first I have introduced myself, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and I have today introduced you with Applied Thermodynamics one topic the name is, the name of topic is Vapor Compression Refrigeration System. So, in Vapor Compression Cycle, we, we can learn the actual Vapor Compression Cycle, the various components covers in that particular cycle and the stages, so we can call them as multi-stage vapor compression system. So the name indicates itself that compression that means to compress the fluid liquid or in this case we can consider as a refrigerant to be compressed. So friends if we have to compress something to raise its temperature and pressure we require some source of compression and in vapor compression cycle we use the main component for compression is the compressor. We can see the another also the components where the heat released how refrigerant moves and how we can get the cool place in refrigerant various applications and other working actual cycles in refrigeration cycle. In the vapor compression cycle, the refrigeration system is most commonly used among all the refrigeration system. That means it is very convenient to user. So it is so simple that in vapor com in vapor compression system it is so simple that the working fluid in this system is refrigerant and it we can use it we can use in our domestic refrigerator also in this system of refrigeration it is often ev evaporates the refrigerant evaporates at very low temperature the virtue of refrigerant is it releases it absorbs the heat and expand when on expansion it can use the heat transfer its own property you see refrigerant cha angi ek asa gun asto ki jo swataha kai certain temperatures la heat absorb karto ani heat release suddha karto aplala cooling havi asto we our main objective is to achieve refrigerating effect that is we can call as re and to get that refrigerating effect that is re we circulate the refrigerant among the cycle it is called vapor compression cycle now here is some component in front of you on the screen that are the main parts which are covered in the refrigeration cycle. The numbers with the circles indicate the stages in from which we can get the actual refrigerating effect. On the top of the particular diagram we can see evaporator and number one is given to evaporator. Evaporator is that part of particular refrigeration system in which we get RE that is refrigerating effect. Number two and the main component of vapor compression cycle is compressor. Number three 
is condenser and number 4 is receiving tank liquid and expansion devices these three components are expansion wall and expansion devices where we can collect collaborate the lines from the refrigerant is called part number 4 from this diagram we can see that with the help of compressor which is run on aromatically sealed compressor type in which piston cylinder arrangement is shown on line diagram in front of the screen. It compresses the refrigerant on which it get expanded and by compression it can convert or it can be displayed on the side. 